Hey guys, it's Mel. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. Um, and if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe um, and follow along with my Animal Crossing adventures. So today I am going to be touring Gigi Land, which is my island. Um, so I have finally, finally finished the island for the most part. Um, I'm super excited to show everybody around. Um, I've been working on this for quite a while. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So as soon as you come out of the airport, um, you can see my entrance. So I have this little staircase here um, and then a little viewing platform. And if you stand here, you can see one of the houses and you can also see some uh, one of the boats in the background, which is really fun. And then off to the right, you can see a little glimpse of a one of the many lighthouses on Gigi Land. So I really like to come sit up here um, and just take in the views. It's a really relaxing area. You can just, oh, my pockets are full. But you can just come up here, sit on this rock, and just have like a peaceful, relaxing time. So let's head over this way. Um, I usually run over this way to the beach area. Um, and you can see here, I just have a little sitting area. So this is kind of in front of the residential services building. Um, I really like walking through here. This is just a little transition area. Um, and so there's a couple of villager houses over here as well as um, an access point to the dock with the boats. So let's do a little quick tour of over here. We have Marty's house and Marty has a tiny little front boardwalk area and some fishing poles. And then over here we have Rodney's house and I think Rodney is such a funny villager. Um, he just is hilarious and he looks good in pretty much anything that you have him wear. So Rodney said to me one day that he really wanted a cake shop. So I gave him a little cake shop um, right outside of his house. So this is just a super cute little area to come sit, have some cakes and desserts. I'm all about that, Rodney. So then if you go over this way, um, I like to kind of go through here and over here I have a few small little um, ocean side kind of details and then we go up this incline and you can already kind of see the lighthouse back here um, but let's head over this way so right here is just a little um, fishing shack so this is where I have some fish as well as some fishing supplies um, so this is a cute little spot where you can come and just hang out um, and check out the fish that I have in there as well as the fishing rods and a few other little details. So if we head over this way, there's another little sitting area here. So up here we have the big fishing boat. Um, this is the largest boat on the island and you can kind of see that it does have a lot of details. It has um, the fishing flag as well as a cooler and some other things that really help make it feel like a fishing boat. So it's great to come up here and just take in the views of this awesome boat. So let's head back down this way. Um, I really love all the little details um, at the bottom there of all the rocks. You can never have enough rocks on this island. So one of my favorite spots is the lighthouse. Um, I love running up and down this bridge, um, getting right next to the lighthouse. And then also if you stand about midway on the bridge, you can get a really nice photo um, of the lighthouse and the bridge.
So let's head over this way and check out this beach. So this is a little sitting area here just for some relaxation. There's also a little campfire, um, another little um, lifesaver as well here. And then there's a small campsite. And then as we go over this way, we are getting closer to Filbert's house. So Filbert has like a fancy front yard. So Filbert's got some like high-end type um, furniture here as well as a nice little fire pit. Um, and then Filbert's got some confetti going in the back. And then I love this little dock area that Filbert has. It's super simple very relaxing just to come sit here just hang out with some music or listen to the ocean so heading over this way we are getting into the area where we have the semi-abandoned um, train station so this area is covered in weeds and there's tons of rocks um, you can see I have a little sign back here that signifies it's a train station here's the actual station where you can just hang out and take a seat um, and you can see there's a little nook mile ticket there as well as some magazines this is another little waiting area and I just love place, placing all these rocks here and all these weeds. So let's head this way. Um, you can see here is one of my other characters' houses. So this house is kind of that coastal theme. Um, with the colors and just the actual structure of the house. And then if we head over this way and follow this dock around, we are on the boat. So the nice thing about this is that um, you can actually use the warp pipe to get onto the boat. So that's really fun. So you can see all the details of the big boat here. You can even take a seat if you want to and hang out. So if we head over this way, oh, hey Daisy. Let's talk. She is so cute. No idea what she's doing. So over here we have Punchy's house. And then this is Tammy's house. Um, and then of course we have Daisy's house. So I really love how all of these houses are kind of in the same style and I feel like they really work well with the theme of the island. Uh, I love their colors and the siding is so pretty. I've been thinking about getting a couple more villagers to have an oceanfront beach house like this. Um, I believe there are a couple more villagers that have this type of style house, so I may bring them on the island. So if you follow the dock um, around this way, we have another lighthouse and just a little sitting and observation area here with the lighthouse. And then you can follow the dock all the way down and get a view of the lighthouse in the back there. And then here are where all of the main boats are on the island. So you can actually get in this boat and sit here. I think that's a lot of fun. Whoops. Super cute photo opportunity here. So let's actually go back this way and then I'll take you over to the other little boat area. So this area here is connected to resident services and then this way is right up again by the airport. 
just to give a sense of where we are. So this dock here is a bit wider and you can see boats on both sides are docked here. Another nice photo opportunity. And then through here is a little tiny fishing spot area. So as we go up here, this area is going to be a lot more natural. Um, I wanted this to be a very earthy inspired area, but also still kind of bring in like small town vibes. So up here, there's going to be tons of greenery, tons of water. Um, so let's head this way. So through here, um, I have some houses and these panels that I created are inspired by the type of siding that exists in oceanside houses, um, coastal houses, I believe it is called um, shingle siding. So if we head up this way, there's a couple different directions we can go. Um, but let's go this way and we will just follow this around. Here I have a tiny little cafe um, and seating area with tons of flowers. This is Samson. Hey Samson. He is so cute. And then if we follow this around, I have a land bridge here and you can really see um, from this vantage point, the sunken waterfalls. So I think this is also another really pretty area where you can just come, sit, hang out, and then take in the view. So if we go around here, you'll see there is a lot more flowers and water, and then this also leads us to the museum area. So I wanted to keep this spot pretty basic, but also feel like the museum is in a natural area. So there's tons of flowers, bushes, and greenery around here, and then I have the statue out front. And then if we come back this way, uh, we'll pass a few waterfalls and also a few more flowers. And here's another little mini cafe and music area. So if you want to have some coffee while you're at the museum, that's a great place to do it. Pick up some sticks. So over here is Ellie's house. She has a really nice front yard. Um, and then she also has a little viewing um, area here so she can see the boats from her house. Let's go back around this way. It's so pretty over here. I don't mind going through it twice. And then we will go up this way um, and pass some more flowers and trees. And this is where we get to kind of the fancier houses up here. So we have Poppy and she has um, a flower stand here. And then we have Portia. So they have little surfboards in their yards. And then if we go over this bridge, um, we can find Samson's house here. And so Samson just has a cute little fishing spot out into the ocean. Um, and then he also has a little laundry area. So Samson is a jock, so... He's all about working out and doing some laundry. So I gave him a little laundry area. So let's go back through this way. So we'll just follow this path around. I love going through all the waterfalls. Um, this is the way to the secret beach. So right now this is just a little area that you can go through. It has tons of overgrown weeds. And you just follow this pathing around. Um, and then this is where Fred's boat is.
So once we cross over this little mini land bridge, um, you can see that there's tons of waterfalls around and then from here we can actually get a really cute view of the Able Sisters shop. So up at Able Sisters we have a little mini plant shop um, and a garden wagon of course and then plenty of leaf piles. Oh, it's not very windy today. This isn't really moving too much. So if we cross over this bridge, we have another sunken waterfall area, which is really pretty. Um, and then, of course, this is my house. And then I just have a little um, clothesline rack here, a rocking chair, and then a swinging bench. So I love hanging out here with all this greenery. So up here we have another of my character's houses and then we have like a little mini um, vineyard area. So you can go through here, grab a glass of wine and then over here we have a little cheese shop. So feel free to take a seat on the lobby cushion, have some wine, have some cheese. So if we go back through, whoops, if we go back through this way, you'll pass another swinging bench. And then here is actually where I have one of the mini boats. So I didn't have enough space to make another big boat and I just kind of wanted a small tiny boat here. So I have just a little tiny dock and then here's a little viewing area. And then you can just check out the little boat that's over here. And of course, another lighthouse. So if we head over this bridge, this is the way to the campsite. So I found that the campsite fit perfectly on this little peninsula here. Um, but we have a little picnic area, a little blanket, um, and a picnic basket. And we have a campsite visitor today, so let's go check out who it is. Who is this? Rolf. Wow, Rolf has an interesting look. He's kind of cute actually. Bye Rolf. Would you guys take Rolf? The campsite also is a really nice photo opportunity. Um, you can get a really cute picture with the water and the ocean and the campsite. Let's head back this way. So now we're kind of getting into town a little bit. And this is one of my favorite areas on the island, which is a little pie shop. So you can see here, I have a couple of different pies. Um, these coats are so pretty. Um, and then some cherries there for like a little cherry pie. And then on this side, we just have the little fortune cookie stand and um, a little music and hangout area. So if we head over this way, this is where I have Nook's Granny and it's just a very simply decorated area where you can store your bikes and just hang out on this bench. So as we head back to the airport, um, the final area here is just this really natural grassy area and that is it for the island tour um, but thank you so much for checking out my video I hope everybody enjoyed the island tour um, I'm really happy with how the island turned out I love all the greenery it's been so much fun um, and yeah make sure to subscribe if you enjoy my videos and also you can check me out on twitch um, and also my instagram and Twitter pages are linked below. Thanks, bye.